Well, hello, 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 wherever you are. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. How are you, Harry? Excellent. Good, 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 good. Um, as usual, or as always, welcome to all our new subscribers. Thank you for, uh, for joining us. Um, for the benefit of those who don't know, before we start, Harry, let's just um, have a quick word from our... <laughs> Our sponsor, it's not really a sponsor. Um, for those of you who are not aware, um, we do promote this uh, this VPN. Um, it's by far the best I've ever used. Uh, Harry uses it, many of our subscribers use it. Um, link to it is in the, uh, will be in the, in the description below. Um, it's 70 bucks a year. Um, and what do we get out of it, Harry? We get 30% off which is exactly the same as what you guys uh, you guys get. So we don't make anything from it. Um, so it's 50 bucks a year and you can connect it to two devices. So you can even share it with a friend. Same account would cost you 25 bucks a year. So again, link um, to that will be in the, in the description. Because nobody needs to know where you're coming from. No, no, no. <laughs> Um, especially once we get to the end of this presentation, you're going to see how how um, <laughs> how these things are becoming more and more important. Seriously, um, but what we what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to do a bit of a bit of a recap um, on the copy and paste. Um, a few people have got it. Uh, a few people are like, "Oh my god, yeah," um, but we just kind of want to bring everyone up to speed. Uh, essentially to save a lot of the, the, the new subscribers um, having to go back and search through the, the previous videos in order to um, to come up to speed. I know we've um, we've got some people come over from Logan's channel at Decode Your Reality, and um, we've had uh, some new guys come over from 434 from Peter's channel as well. So let's um, let's let's just kind of get into it. Um, yeah. One the main reason that we've decided to do this is because a, a lot of uh, the newer people will say, well, what about this? Or what about that? And, and we've covered some of these topics several times. So in order for us to not sound repetitive to the people who've been here from, you know, eight, nine months ago, we don't want to reiterate everything all the time, but it's sometimes essential. Um, so this kind of is a recap of, uh, uh, covering everything in a blanket, but I still recommend go back, do a little bit of binge watching. I did that just the last couple of days, looking back at some of our older videos, everything is very pertinent still that we, we used to say uh, versus the, today. A couple of alterations, like remember when we were saying that the moon was the feminine and the sun was masculine, we, we now now, we know now that they're interchangeable. So they are, yeah, and we, right we we do have some new information in this one as well uh, mm -hmm. towards the end. So let's uh, let's get into it. We don't want to make it um, too long. Try and keep to the kind of half an hour ish. Uh, let me just tidy up my screen. Uh, okay, so hopefully you can uh, you can all see this. Um, I've called it. Let's get up to date. Date, of course, is connected to chronology. Um, which is going to feature quite heavy in this. So before we begin, this, this found me. It's important to understand that when you start to awaken, your light will trigger the shadow parts of other people. It's like pulling the blinds open in the morning when someone's sleeping. Most people don't want to wake up or don't want to be woken up. So they will try and pull you back to bed to sleep with them. Or to, <laughs> they will try to pull you back to sleep with them. Stay true to your path, no matter what resistance you face. Um, pretty powerful. Yeah, it's like uh, the sun beating at the face of uh, Dracula. Yeah, yeah. So you you just need to open your eyes and wake up. Uh, if if you are trying to wake someone else up, they're they're going to resist for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I've been a subscriber to Pete's channel for quite a while. This is uh, 434. I will leave a, um, a link to this in the show notes. Um, this is a couple of days. I'll put this up a couple of days ago. You're in a program. 
and here is the code. Well, we've been talking about this for a long time. Um, there are more and more people talking about the simulation, um, the, the, uh, the simulation now. So um, great video. Uh, I, I thoroughly recommend, it's only 20 minutes long, 24 minutes long. I thoroughly recommend you watch it. And from that channel, um, we, we had a, a comment from um, Roxy and Lulu. I'm, I'll read it in a sec. I don't normally read comments, but this one's really important. They'd gone over and watched copied and paste, copy and pasted reality part one, which goes back to May the 19th. It's, it's had 1300 views. It's one of our most viewed um, podcasts. But she says, no, she thinks it's a she. This is absolutely amazing. Just finished watching parts one and two, and it all makes sense. When I started researching Tartaria, mud floods, and the orphans, I couldn't quite make the connection because there was information missing in time, as if a whole timeline was wiped out. I've been watching videos about us being in a simulation, and I couldn't quite wrap my head around it. But your explanation of a copy of the original, a dome, and recycling of souls just brought my 10 years of research to a moment of clarity. That is a little mind-blowing to say the least. Thank you for sharing this. I'm looking forward to part three. So, you know, we, we are, we're reaching people, Harry. You know, we are having an effect. I mean, th th this person, um, you know, they, they watch this video and suddenly 10 years of research, just the, the light bulb went off, ping. Um, well, it's because it's because we don't put a lot of bells and whistles in what we're presenting. We we're making any. we 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 want to put it and and be as basic and simple as possible, so that everyone can kind of grasp what we're trying to get across. Yeah, ab absolutely. But you know, it, it's so um, heartening when you uh, when when we get comments like this to actually know and realize and understand that. You know, we're not wasting our time. Um, talking of time, chronic. What does the word chronic bring up? Well, you know, we can think of it as a, uh, in a medical, medical term. Um, but chronic is connected to time. And it's interesting that there are two books in the Old Testament called Chronicles 1 and 2 which connects us to the added thousand years chronicles and Natalie Fomenko, fermenko if you've not looked uh, at this guy's work guys you 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 really you really must he's the guy that that demonstrated that a thousand years was added to the calendar he also demonstrates that the old testament was written after the new testament we know everything in this world is inverted um so why would the bible um not be included in that so and it, and it makes so much sense harry when you look at the work that we've done on exposing this um trying to find this um needle in a haystack <laughs> well i mean you you said it anatoly fomenko yeah. in in my mind proves that albert einstein was no genius oh absolutely absolutely <laughs> but the but the, the the point i'm making is that when you look at the work that that you and I and Logan um, and and Paul from the, what the what the the what the flock TV and many others are doing. It makes so much sense um, that the New Testament actually um, precedes the the, uh, the old the Old Testament, and we can see that with the timelines. Mm -hmm. So we have chronic, we have chronicles, we have chronology, we have chronos. However you want to spell it, it's all linked together. So for those that are not aware, Jeremiah, Jeremiah is um, a book in the Old Testament. And again, it, this, this uh, quantifies what Fomenko talks about. This is from Jeremiah 4. I'm in the KGV, verse 23. I beheld the earth, it was, and lo, it was without form, comma, and void. That is a direct reference to Genesis 1-2. It's the only other time you'll read this in the Bible. The mountains trembled. There was no man. Well, well, hang on a minute, guys. Man wasn't created yet. What, what are you talking about, man? Man, 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 man? man was created in Genesis 127. No, man was already here because man was copied. Man was part of the copy. The fruitful place was a wilderness and the cities. Well, who lives in cities? People. 
were broken down, yeah, at the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. For thus hath the Lord said, the whole land shall be desolate, I will not make a full end. The earth shall mourn, the heavens be black, because I have spoken it, I have purposed it, and I will not repent, neither will I turn back. We reckon about 70% of the earth uh, was, was, was pretty much destroyed. And again, the needle in the haystack. I, I, I came across this. Somebody must have sent me this a while ago. I found it on my PC at work. And I thought, you know, we, all, we always think of the, you know, the needle in the haystack cliche, but, you know, find the toenail in the, in the birthday cake. I mean, I'm sure there isn't one, but, you know, somebody's got a sense of humor. So the important thing, guys, is not so much verse 27. We're in Genesis 1 now. It's not so much 27. God created man in his own image. It's 28 that's important. When we look at what's going on in the world, God blessed them. God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. Well, there's no such word as plenish. Replenish means to fill up again. So it must have been filled prior to, yeah. um, to this. Subdue it, have dominion over it. So that's basically saying bringing it under bondage, bring it um, uh, rule over it. We've talked about this in many of our podcasts. And, you know, bringing the world into bondage, you know, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In your face. Now, I grew up in the UK. I'm fully aware of King George V, but I never knew he was an emperor. What's the word emperor doing on this coin? And of course, there are many people in our community that um, that uh, have evidence to uh, to point to the fact that King George V, who apparently he went mental, Harry. He, he was locked up in a mental asylum, so he disappeared out of sight. Whereas in, um, in actual reality, he was uh, George Washington. He went to America and became George Washington. Oh, okay. So as a patient, he walks into a, an insane asylum in England, but he walks out of another door yeah. and appears on the mainland of the East Coast of the United States yep. in the colonial times you got as it. George Washington. You got it. <laughs> if any of that nonsense is true, who knows? <laughs> um, I did come across this. I can't remember where. Um, but you, you see the crater within the crater. Um, I don't know the significance of the 11. Um, what, what I'm seeing now, Harry, we didn't see this when we looked yesterday. These are numbered, look. One, two, oh, three, yeah. four, that's 11, and 13, all the way through 26. I wonder what that means. Anybody got any ideas? Let us know in the comments. Um, mm. But we could do a whole podcast, and, and many people have on these extra lands where extra oh. terrestrials so, come from. That's weird. I didn't even notice that the first time either. No, I didn't. So there's um, there's more big dots than there are little dots, aren't there? Yeah, there's 11 big dots and 11 little dots. Uh, that I, would I've make 22. No idea why. Yeah, it's 22. Mm. 22. And 22 is a master builder number. So. Yeah, and 11, is your, and 11 is your number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anybody got any idea? I don't know if it's true. Mm. I, I don't know if it's real. But, you know, I just thought I'd throw it in there because it, it kind of gets, it, it, it ties in with what we're talking about. Um. Now, before I go on, uh, you're going to wonder what on earth this is. Why, why are we put a football in there? Go to the channel, guys. Click on videos and go to number 63, Tartaria Dogs, um, where we talk all about the, um, the, the realm um, and, and the possibilities of, of, of what it is. And probably a really, another really good important one is number 61 is this one. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're all they're all important, really. Um, but oh, yeah, on, number, uh, number 63. On the Tartaria Dog 63, we talk about the soccer ball at the 420 mark. Okay. Fitting, fitting number. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 42. 42. The meaning of life. Yeah. And four, you know what 420 stands for? What? Yeah, smoking marijuana. 420. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, know that. All right. Well, well, what, what, what we kind of go into in that video, guys, is, is you've got the uh, the hexagrams and you've got the pentagram, and the pentagrams basically being uh, a realm, and the the white 
um, hexagrams around the outside representing Antarctica. And I came across this, which um, made me think, this being our little realm, you know? I mean, are they, are they deceiving us, Harry, by telling us that, 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 that we're on a globe and we're also in a, in a crater? I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's, yeah. um, you know, it, it's, it's an interesting concept, let's put it that way. When, when JD, back in the day, did a breakdown on Adam and Eve, uh, when uh, supposedly Yahweh comes down, I always thought that maybe we were in a, like a test tube mm. or a dome, or of course, what's with the garden, and that maybe we were partly just one segment of one of the creations. Well, could, uh, this, so could this whole thing, could this whole realm be a garden? Could this whole yeah. realm represent a garden when you look at the bigger, you look at the bigger picture? Yeah. I don't know. Just, I one, mean, just one, yeah, one test group. Yeah. Of the many. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but the, the the next few slides, guys, I'm I'm just gonna skip through these pretty quickly. You can pause um at any time. Now remember, we assert that we are living in a copied realm. Imagine you um you, you, you create your own computer. You, you, you get the components, you build it from scratch. You don't buy it, you build it from scratch. Everything on your computer is your creation, everything. Harry comes along or I come along with our little USB and we copy everything from your computer and we put it on our computer. Uh, and then we can destroy whatever we want and rebuild it, but we haven't damaged the original. So the question is, what you're looking at here is an abandoned building. What you're looking at here is an abandoned building. Now, just, just take a second to look at the architecture, look at the style. It's what we affectionately call Tartarian. An abandoned fairground. I don't know where a lot of these places are, it's just a collection that I put together. I mean, but this is a, an abandoned railway station. Look at the roof, guys. Look at all those portico windows every couple of feet and all the doors. Why so many doors? But, you know, it's abandoned. This is beautiful. Clearly what we would call Tartarian. Uh, they tell us it was built in 18. Well, whenever you see, whenever you see something that says founded in whatever year, it's found it, not found it, found it. This one's a newer one, but again, abandoned. Abandoned. I mean, who built these? You know, Harry, you and I have been talking about Game of Thrones, uh, the most popular TV series ever created. It's, it's reached 180 countries. And as I was saying to you yesterday, Personally, I'm, I'm convinced that, that one of the reasons, one of the only reasons it's become so popular is because of the architecture, the buildings that, 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 that are used in this. Uh, you, you, you know, you, you could go and film an episode of Game of Thrones in, in this, although Game oh, of Thrones, I think, is uh, predominantly in, in Northern Ireland. It's filmed in Northern Ireland. Yeah, yeah. by far, one, probably the best series, like you said. I mean, this is a theatre, abandoned theatre. It almost makes you want to cry, Harry. Yeah. A whole abandoned town, village. Overrun by nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the size of this. This is some kind of castle, uh, something, Banner, Banner Island. I, I'm not sure where it is. Someone, someone said it was near to New York. I'm not so sure, but you can see it being propped up in the top right-hand corner. This makes me laugh. Love it. Again, this one's up on a top of a mountain somewhere. Don't know what this is, but it's abandoned. Oh, it's haunted. Can't go in there. Now, I've th 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 this one is just incredible. We are told, guys, that this is a sewer. Um, uh, and, and just look at the architecture. Um, we've seen this kind of architecture on ceilings, uh, a lot of these huge Tartarian buildings, um, uh, things like the Arc de Triomphe and all these big, big arches. They have this kind of, or something very similar 
on the on the ceilings and and this is all to do with electrical charge so i'm i'm going to stop the share here because i know harry wants to chime in <laughs> with respect to um that movie that we've been talking about well with regards to that last uh, snapshot why would anyone spend so much time effort money architecture technical design on how to take the shit out of town and run it down the river. Yeah. It's obviously it was for other for another purpose at one point. But with regards to uh, Sausage Party, uh, you know, I'm so glad that you were recommended that movie and did eventually recommend it to all the all the subs and myself, of course, because uh, we have talked about how food is alive. We talked about spirits being present in uh, the grains and the vegetables that are, or the fruits that are turned into wines and, and alcohol. Uh, now, this movie, and I don't want to do a spoiler alert for anyone, but the bottom line is the food is alive in this movie. Well, and it's, it's a supermarket. It, it, it's set in a yeah. supermarket and all, all the, the different products, that they're all characters, a bit like Toy Story, right? Exactly. A food version of Toy Story where they... All can interact, but humans don't recognize it until they are on a psychedelic. Once they're on a psychedelic, they can kind of understand what's happening. The food is uh, representative of humanity. And the humans in this movie uh, are the gods. So the gods are eating the food. And, and that's, in essence, what's happening. Just, with just, to, just to clarify what, what Harry means by the psychedelic is, is, is one guy goes to the store and buys his food he goes home and this guy's a junkie so he, he shoots himself up and he, he gets high and then once he's once he's in that state he's actually able to communicate <laughs> with with the food it's you know again if you think of the toy story movie and and, and one of the the um the humans if you like being able to communicate with the toys mm -hmm. um and he actually realizes that, that they've got little personalities and, and, and they've got a soul and spirit. And he actually says, I will never eat food again. And we maintain that in the original realm, um, basically, we didn't need to eat. And if we yeah. didn't need to eat, then we wouldn't need to go to the bathroom. And this is not a sewer, guys. It might be used as one now, but it's not a sewer. Um, if you haven't watched the movie Toy Story, uh, not Toy Story, uh, Sausage Party, uh, it's an absolute mind blow. The truth drops in there are off the charts. But word of warning, it is 16 plus. Uh, <laughs> if you've got young kids, don't um, don't watch it while they're around. But it, it, it really yeah. is a must watch. Yeah. All right. So let's get into um, into the rest of this. Just a few more abandoned buildings, guys. As I say, stop the video if I'm going too quick. I mean, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know, and you've got to wonder, Harry, you know, if these things are too big for one family, you know how these days many people would live in apartments, we live in apartment blocks. You know, it, it makes you wonder. I think it was Kim, the bard, we, we were talking about this. And she said, what if whole communities lived in, in some of these bigger bigger houses? It, it kind of makes sense. I mean, you, you know, mom, dad, and a couple of kids. Well, yeah. but the lords, the lords of the of the um, the land, they needed to have servants and uh, and people to take care of the animals. And well, so, so yeah, yeah, so maybe, they yeah so maybe they all live. Yeah, maybe they all live together. So we're told, yeah. Uh, another castle, it might be the same one, I don't know. But, you know, just abandoned, just just walked away. Really? Come on. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's off the charts. Beautiful, stunning architecture. And it's just left abandoned because, yeah, that's what people... And, and yet you, you do not see this type of work being done today. No. Because... They tell you, oh, it's too costly. I, you know, they just can't do it. You can't build that. So the contention is, guys, that if this whole realm is a copy, then everything gets copied across, okay? So everything from your computer that you created, I've copied across onto my computer, because I'm Yahweh. Me and Harry are the Elohim. We've copied it across onto, uh, onto our computer. We've destroyed all the people. 
or as many people as we possibly can. Um, so the, the, the buildings are just uninhabited. They're, they're not so much abandoned because the, the, the people that live there are, are no longer here. Uh, I, I put this one in at the end. This is um, melted. It's clearly melted. Now, if you want to, if you're not aware of melted buildings, um, pop over to Jen's channel, Truth Seeker 69. She's done a lot of um, a lot of video videos on meltification. She's not the only one. Um, Tartarian Meltdown is another uh, another good channel to um, to have a look at. But but you can see this is clearly clearly melted. And you know, I worked as an electronics engineer. I'm, I'm, I'm a that was my trade until you know TVs and videos became irreparable. And you know, to see a component on a circuit board like this is not unusual. There's no way that this, it's not a cathedral, it's a cathode rail. Think of a, a, an anode and a cathode. And this is literally shorted out. It's, it's literally burnt out. When you look at the, you know, the heat that must have been generated here and the heat that must have come up from the underground here to do that to the, uh, to the cathedral or cathode rail. Um, it wasn't built out of black brick. I mean, anybody that thinks that is, 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 not, is not looking. Uh, here's that building again, Banner Island. Um, as I say, I think I could be wrong, um, but some kind of some kind of castle. All right. So who were these? Who were these destroyers? Who were these copiers and pasters? Now I got no idea, Harry, why this is the King James version because I don't think there is a book of Solomon in King James Bible. But it's interesting. Two two three. Well, what's that in reverse? Three two two. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Okay. Well, if we go to the King James, Genesis 3 2 2, which is a reflection of 2 2 3. Uh, and the Lord God said, Behold, man is become one of us to know good and evil. And now let, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life, eat and live forever. Immortal. Um, and of course, you know, the, the, the 322 connection, the 322 connection, the 322 connection. I mean, there's nothing to see here, guys. Please move along. OK, this is something that uh, doesn't matter what you think of, uh, of his dad or him. They do put out, put out a lot of truth. And uh, you can read that for yourself because it's just it's 100 percent spot on. Everybody's familiar with this. What does it say, Harry? Well, upon first examination, it says sun kissed. Mm. But if you look closer, is that really a U or is it an I? Is it a sin kissed? It's or is it sun -kissed? Certainly, certainly not a U, bro. Yeah. And we're all familiar with a particular chocolate bar. This used to be called a marathon when it was first, first came out in the UK. It's called a marathon bar. And they changed it to snickers well what's <laughs> what's a snicker i mean this is a, this is a tomato <laughs> imagine imagine getting a tomato cutting it in half and seeing that i mean that's just insane but you know that's what a snicker is it's mockery guys we are being mocked mockery mockery yeah okay you don't see that every day but what the hell uh, I've got three interesting slides here. Um, these are photographs that were sent. Um, what, what, what are we looking at? Well, you know. I see you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you, you make your own mind up, guys. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying uh, one or the other. All right. So let's just get into the juicy bits. Uh, so that. What we've got, what we've done up to now is the uh, review, pretty much. Um, but I want to get into something that's, uh, that is a very, very recent, um, recently in the news. We all know what this word means. Uh, we, we, we've all seen this word banded around. But, but if we split it into two words, then maybe that's a little bit more. I like that definition right there. Yeah, yes. maybe that's a little bit more <laughs> close. 
But let's have a look at the word. M-A-N-D-A-T-E is an anagram mm -hmm. of M-E-T-A-D-N-A. -E you cannot make this up. Yeah, I know I keep saying it, guys. People have made comments. Will you stop saying you can't make it up? Well, <laughs> words fail me. Um, and of course, it's related to, to this. Um, and if you look at the symbol, is related to this, which we spoke about in the in the previous podcast. This is not a snake eating its own tail. It is regurgitating. It is rejuvenating. Yeah. It is regenerating. The opposite of what we have been taught. Meta, this is from our good friend Lovegood, uh, one of our awesome subscribers. She sent me this and she said, it's an anagram of at me, aimed or aimed at me or targeted for me. Uh, Atem is also the Egyptian god Atum. One of the symbols associated with him is the Udiat, the Eye of Horus, which is ours, connected to time, chronology, that protects him from all imaginable dangers. In Hebrew, Meta equals death. So, thanks to uh, Paul at What the Flock TV. Guys, you, you can't make this up. Right. I, I, I ran through this um, this PowerPoint with with Harry yesterday to see if he'd got anything he wanted me to add. And, and I literally had got as far as, as. There, that was it. Right. That that was the end of the PPT. Yeah. That was and, it. Yeah. And then Paul, I got up this morning, um, literally two hours uh, before. Um, or two or three hours before Harry and I were, were, were doing the podcast, I saw um, in my feed, Paul from, from What The Flock TV, um, was, was doing this as well. And he's, he's putting this together, the F plus eight. Well, there's fate. You can't make that up. Um, and this is a screenshot. Now, I, I've put this in for the benefit of um, predominantly my friend Barry, uh, Barry Oz Barry who's always trying to, to, to question, he can't get his head around that, that if this is a simulation and if this is not real, if I drop a brick on my foot, why does it hurt? <laughs> okay, well, that, no, that is a fair question, Harry uh, and, and Barry, if you're listening, I know you will be, um, uh, that, that, that is a fair question. So let me, this, this is what I see. What you're looking at here is um, pictured through VR glasses. Okay, so this is this is a game that you're looking at. You're watching people playing table tennis. Um, so, in 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 essence, if you take the glasses off, all that goes away. That's all gone, right? So while you've got the glasses on, Harry, if you fell over and banged your head on that ping pong table, you you, you wouldn't feel anything because the ping pong table is not there in your reality. Agree? Yep. But if the guy on the left or either of those kids slipped over and banged their head on the ping pong table, they're going to feel it, right? They're going to go, ow, because they are in that reality. They are part of that yeah. reality. Yeah, those, are, those are digital kids. Down yeah, yeah. So if, if the guy falls over and bangs his head on, on, the, on the, the table that's not, not there in our reality, He's going to hurt himself because it's part of his reality. Yeah. If, if that kind of makes sense, it's kind of the best way I can explain it. Yeah. Those are avatar reality kids and they yeah. would hit that avatar table. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Now, if you're familiar with Paul's awesome work over on, on, on What the Flock TV, you'll know that he's a genius when it comes to Janus, the, 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 the two-headed two god. And he was talking, it's only a five-minute video, I'll, 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 I'll I'll show you where it is. And he was talking about this particular advert with um, Mr. Zuckerberg looking at himself, another avatar. So you've got the, the, the twins, the jewels, right? So what he's done, he just mirrored the F, okay, into two Fs. Uh, then he straightened them up and made them into two Fs. And then he added the, the eight. And it's basically an image for what is known as the leviathan cross you can see it there for yourself 
there they are side by side that's what paul did uh, the, the one on the left and the one on the right is the leviathan cross and then he added his own little um creation there in in in, in blue um so what you guys want to make of that there's his channel um November 21, put it up today, and it's just called Meta. It's only five minutes long. Go over and show him some love. He's an awesome guy, lovely human being, and his work is off the charts, when it, especially when it comes to, uh, to Janus. That um, is amazing. That, that, that's a great connection between the yeah. Leviathan Cross. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, again, it's mockery. Absolute sheer mockery. Mm -hmm. Now, just before we finish, um, I've thrown um, a screenshot of Logan's channel. This is this is, is the one that uh, the live stream he was doing today. Because one of the things that Logan talks about, Harry, is, as we know, is that we are Satan, basically, right? And, 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 and we, people, are, yeah. we are the adversary, that's it. Yeah, yeah. People just can't get their head around that. They don't want to accept that. Oh, no, that's that's. Remember, we are an, in an inverted world. And one of the things that Logan always says is be the best little devil you can be. Right now, yeah. we we did a podcast with um, with Logan uh, a couple of weeks ago. We, we, we're, we're trying to line another one up, which hopefully will be uh, will be our next um, the next one, the midweek one, if um, if all things being equal. Um, but I want to say a big thank you um, to Katie, a lady in our um, Telegram group. If you haven't joined our Telegram group, guys, please um, consider it. Link again is is below. We've gone from 19 people to 60 odd people, and uh, it's it's called the, the His Story Telegram group. And uh, anything goes. We talk about anything in in, um, in there. So Katie posted this. Now these are the eleven, uh, the eleven satanic rules of the earth. Now let's just go through. Let's just take a minute to go through them, guys. Do not give opinions or advice unless you are asked. Okay, that's fair enough. Do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. Hmm, that's really satanic, isn't it? When in another's home, show them respect or else don't go there. Hmm. If a guest in your home annoys you, treat them cruelly and without mercy. Yeah, tell them to F off. <laughs> Do not make advances unless you are given the mating signal. Hmm. Okay. Do not take that which does not belong to you unless it is a burden to the other person and they cry out to be relieved of it. Okay. Acknowledge the power of magic if you have employed it successfully to obtain your desires. If you deny the power of magic after having called upon it with success, you will lose all you have obtained. That's fair. Do not complain about anything to which you need not subject yourself. Okay. Do not harm young children. OK, do not kill non-human animals unless you are attacked or for your food. In other words, don't mistreat animals. Mm -hmm. And number 11, when walking in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask them to stop if they do not destroy them. Destroy here has many, many meanings. But, you know, you can destroy someone's argument. Doesn't mean you've um, you've done them any harm. Um, but these are the 11 satanic rules of the earth. Now, if anybody can tell me anything um, mainstream satanic, then please do so. Please post it in the comments. And, uh, and then the other thing is it, the focus is these are the 11 satanic rules of Earth. Anyone not here, these rules don't apply to you. They wouldn't apply, no. So that would be the avatar. The avatar yeah. is is bound by these rules. Yeah, and, I, and I've got I've got more I've got more of this stuff that that, that I want to get into, but I, I want to get into that when we in our next podcast. I want to do a whole podcast on on this topic. I wanted to throw that in as a bit of a um, well, not really a teaser, Harry, but 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 for people to consider, for people to consider, yeah. huh? Prelude. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 a prelude, uh, something for people to uh, to consider. You know, I, 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 I left a comment on someone's channel. I think it was John Levi's channel. Um, and it was a perfectly normal comment. And somebody came back and accused me of being a, a Satanist because, you know, the, uh, the the name of the channel is the Devil's Playground. Well, that's where we live. We live in the Devil's Playground. It really is that simple. That's where I where I got the name from. So. Well, well, a lot of people need to put on their big boy, big girl pants and realize that we, we are not talking about some red suited horn pitchfork tail character. No. We are the adversary to this fake God and his fake copied realm. Yep. We are going to go against him so that we can break free of this prison and get the hell out of it. Yeah, absolutely. That's All right, brother. Are. Anything you want to uh, you want to finish with? No, I think that was a good culmination ending. Uh, okay. Contemplate those eleven rules. And see how different they are than than any wholesome, uh, uh, you know, checklist that you would say that you would want someone to do for you. And why do you think there are eleven, Harry, and not ten or eight or twelve? <laughs> because that's where we're at. We're in the realm of the duality. Well, the realm we're, of the dual, we're, dual realm. We're in the we're in the realm of duality. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right, guys, we'll leave it there. Thanks for uh, thanks for being with us. Much love. Comment below. Um, give us your thoughts, your questions. Anything goes. All right. Yeah. We'll see you All soon. Right. Love Take you. Care. Bye.